There's a new feature in Reveal Soundspire, which allows you to create almost an unlimited number of patches because it's generated by AI. It's called RSAI, which of course stands for uh, Reveal Sound AI. So let's have a look at how it works. So you see, you see here we have uh, Spire loaded, and if, if we go, go here and click on the presets, I have a new folder generated here, which is AI, which contains zero presets. And then we have a button here, which is RS AI. I can click on that and load the AI generator. So we have different parameters here. We have the net version, which at the moment is just one. So probably they will add more versions in the future. Then we have different models, which are best suited, the best adaptable to different kinds of um, sounds. For example, I will choose the hybrid. And then you have the timbre of the kind of sound you want to generate. So for example, let's say I want to generate some paths. And then we have the mode. And we have different modes, which are the vintage one, which is more, of course, vintage sounds. Then we have a more, more modern kind of sound. And then we have a hybrid, which will be uh, a mixture of the two. So let's go for the modern, for example. Then we have to generate a seed, which is basically a random number, which tells uh, the AI how to generate a set of preset, basing on patterns and relationship he has already learned. So let's generate a new one. Then we have a DNA queue, which you can adjust between 0 and 100, and basically this affects the high fidelity of the generation. Then we can apply a corrector after generation, so maybe to fine-tune the preset again. Let's say I want to generate 16 presets. So let's click on Submit and just wait for the presets to be created. OK, all tasks are completed. If we close these, we have a new folder inside the, the main folder, the main AI folder when we started, and we have a, a bunch of presets created. So let's have a listen to them. So yeah, this is the first one, the first pad that he has created. Let's try another one. Okay, pretty basic stuff, but you can adjust them, of course, in Spire. This one is too loud, maybe. I kind of like this one. Don't like this one. Okay, let's try to generate some more. Maybe we can change the kind of sound that you want. So let's try to generate some bass, for example. So let's choose the bass as the timbre and change the model to large. And maybe also the mode I want them to be polished, not experimental. And let's change the seat and see what happens. Let's click Submit again. Okay, again, all tasks are completed. Let's close the generator and go back to the presets and have a listen. Base number one. Base number two. Number three. Okay, the bass sounds are better, in my opinion. Okay, you see, we have 16 basses. So now let's try to generate some atmospheric sound, for example. So let's go back and choose, yeah, we have to choose the hybrid. And we have some atmosphere. And yeah, let's say I want some complex atmospheres. Okay, again, we leave the corrector as it is, number of opposite 16, number of opposite, and submit. Yeah, and again, after about 10 or 15 seconds, 16 new sounds are created, and we have another folder here again, with, which contains atmospheric sounds in this case. Let's have a listen to them. 